If you deal with the same customers or suppliers on a regular basis, you can create contact records for them. This saves you time when entering your sales and purchases and helps you keep track of who owes you money and who you owe money to. To set up a new contact record, click on the Contacts tab. To set up a new contact, click on the New Contact button. Any fields on this screen with an asterisk is a mandatory field. The rest are optional. First, in the Contact Type field, you can select if this contact is a customer or a supplier. Then type the company name or contact name. You can then enter a reference for this contact if you have one. If you have enabled foreign currencies, you can then select which currency you wish to use for this contact. Please note, you cannot have multiple currencies against one contact. If you need to use multiple currencies, you need to have multiple contact records. You can then set a credit limit by selecting the Set Credit Limit checkbox and entering the credit limit value. The credit limit is then displayed on the Age Debtors and Age Creditors report. The default terms refer to those set in the default settings area. However, if you have individual credit days for your contact, you can check the Customize Terms box and enter an amount in the Credit Days field. If your customer is VAT registered, you can enter their VAT number here. If the customer is from overseas, the VAT number will need to be in the correct format for their country. The default ledger account is used when you create invoices or quick entries for this contact. This is also entered in the default settings area, but can be amended for individual contacts. As the bank account information is for your records only, you can enter as much or as little detail as you like. When entering the main address, you can choose if this is a delivery address or if it is a departmental address, such as accounts, sales or purchasing. Once you've selected the relevant option and filled in the relevant fields, you can create another address if you need to. In the main contact section, again, you can choose which department the contact works in. Then fill out the rest of the information as necessary. If you need to add more than one contact, click on the Add Contact button. When you're happy with all the information you've entered, remember to click Save before leaving the page. Once you've set up your contact records, these can then be used when entering transactions.